a new video. Um, it is a review video, my first review video over a toy um, from thinkgeek.com. Well, maybe you got it somewhere else, but um, yeah, I got mine from thinkgeek.com. It is, if you read the title, ba -ba -ba, the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, I got this from thinkgeek.com. It was on sale. Um, for like twenty five dollars, twenty six plus tax though. Um, yeah, well, let's jump in right to it. Uh, yeah. Um, basically, um, a lot of people complain that this is too large, but I don't really find that problem. I find it perfect. Wait, if you're not sure how it compares in size, um, here's a diary of a wimpy kid book. And the sonic screwdriver about the same size a little bit larger than it you know side to side see it's a little bit thick it's a little bit thicker than it and bigger than it um yeah uh if you don't have a diary of would be kid book maybe you have a big shiggy no. um yeah uh, basically, it has two buttons. Uh, this one activates it. Here, and this one does this. Top one does that. Then you have to push it down. So basically, when you press this button, the lower one does it lights up with a green and makes a noise. Okay, um, yeah, it doesn't actually do the feature, it just moved my mouse to the mouse. Um, yeah, so, um, uh, well, let's stop for a second, see myself. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, so, it has four sounds. Um, this is the first one. like the activating sound like like oh no I gotta activate it whoa and the other one is a scanning sound which is this it's a bit lower and a bit slower yeah, but then there are a couple of hidden ones. If you hold it down, the little button down twice, then hold on the third. It makes a very quiet thing. Now be quiet. It's not picking up on my microphone. So I'm recording this with a Macintosh. You can record it on Macintosh, you guys see a thing it's not showing up. And then, um, that is from a recent episode where, um, with the roommate of the lodger. Not the lodger, but when the lodger returned, yeah, he did the... To a Cyberman. Laser to a, um, a Cyberman. And yeah. And then there's this, and um, that came out after the Sonic Screwdriver was released. And then there's this one. If you press it at least three times and hold down on the four, see it's kind of flickering for like the broken Sonic. You can like press down as many times as you want. And then do that. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now. Something that I would like to point out, let me do that, I've realized that, like, the screw, this, this, this screwdriver really has every TARDIS configured into it. You see the top part shows the new one with the thing, it goes like this, then in the center of it, it represents David Tennant's in the 8th Doctor, maybe, I don't know. 
Um, uh, and David Timmons started in the middle of it. Let's see. And then on the bottom, it represents like the half mark of it. Well, the half part of the TARDIS is such a thingy, how that would called. Um, but yeah, uh, I like how it looks. Um, I like how like when you press it, it just shows the insides of it. You can see a wire on the top, I guess. Um, but I might want to know, when you press it like this, the lower button doesn't work. See that? You see that little button in the middle? You have to press it for it to work. All the other features work with it, but you're supposed to use this bottom piece, which is a bit awkward. I guess if you're, um trying to do it like this at that one school house episode with um David Tennant and and River and um Rose. Um you could do that. It also works non did now uh I think this is kind of stupid um with the directions. When you do this direction says to grab the tip and to push it down. I've had multiples of these I tried to make Review, but the review, but on my computer was too slow. I need to get an update or something like the snow mountain thing. Please, the ball in the background. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, finally, I do this a little. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. It's stupid because in directions they said to push down on it, and with my previous ones I did that. I did this all the time, and ended and it ended up breaking the tongs, and this part broke off. The big the bright LED thing, not fun. Not as fun. Um. Also, uh, you might want to know. Get on the laser. Um, it actually kills off the sound and battery, so you might want to do it kind of rarely, just like the doctor does. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, yeah. Uh, the front tar is like um a gripping thing. I like how it's like. Like, 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 like. I like how it like goes around it, and I also like how it's um, all coated and stuff. Like it's a real thing, and then there's like a thing that goes around it, and then I really like the leather. And I'm not sure that stitching is in the real one or not. And like this marble thing is there. I'm not sure if the buttons on there either, but yeah. Uh, how you unhook it is you grab it by these grippy things and then you twist it like this. It doesn't work as well. Then you rip it apart. Yes, you can cosplay even more with the sound. Yeah, uh, this part is where the spring is. And uh, this part is where the batteries are. As you see, look, look the, if you look here. It's the battery compartment. So yeah, and then you hook it with the arrow of the section going together like this and then it goes like that. Um yeah, I mean if you're a Doctor Who fan and you want to play around with it, and even if you're not a Doctor Who fan, this this thing is is is, is it makes noise. And this like it falls. It's not on purpose, like I have greasy hands and look, and I make skills. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not a Doctor Who fan, it's cool. Um, yay. I'm gonna go play for some Minecraft.